my name is Ruth Herman and this series of six videos are designed to help you organise a bike week or a fun scale cycling event for primary school age children. If you're a teacher, the event you run might or be organised in your school. Or maybe you're a parent who's considering cycling with your kids to school rather than taking the car. These games will be great for getting cycling skills up to speed before you venture out on the road. Cycling is a brilliant activity for the whole family, adults as well, and a great way to stay active and healthy while being pretty close to home. Anyway, in this series there are six videos. The first video, this video, Ready to Roll, gives you an introduction to the programme. And then we look at the four basic skills in turn, and these are in the Sprocket Rocket programme. So we'll start with balance, then braking, cornering and pedalling. Finally, there's the fun to finish video, which will show you how to put together all the skills using a fun obstacle course. In each video, I'll show you one game that can be used to practice each of our four basic skills. Then I'll show you a few different ways you can develop and progress the game to make it more challenging. Each skill can be run as a standalone session, which will take about 10 or 15 minutes, or you can put them together and run a mini event, which should last about 45 minutes to an hour. Before we get started, here are a few things that are worth bearing in mind. Firstly, organize your crew of cycling children. If you've never run something like this before, I'd suggest starting with a small group of probably less than five kids. Find a suitable place. An open flat area such as a car park, a quiet road or a wide driveway will work well for you. Obviously, avoid areas that are busy with traffic or people. Avoid the grass because it can be quite difficult to cycle on and avoid gravel because it's slippy. Make sure that the children are set up with bikes that fit them so their foot should be flat or almost flat on the ground and make sure that the bikes work properly so they should be in good working order with both brakes working correctly. Obviously, it always works best when the sun is shining so pick a nice dry day. Do a quick check on children's clothing so there should be nothing dangling that can get caught up in the chain. Pants should be tucked in and shoelaces should be tied up so they don't get caught in the pedals. Finally, before they cycle, check those helmets. Make sure that they have helmets and they're fitted properly. Okay, that's it. Let's get cycling. Green light. Click on to the next video or let us know how it went using the contact details on screen. If you're tagging us on social media, use hashtag SprocketRocket.